Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, adding and subtracting equation models. In order to learn about adding and subtracting with equation models, we first need to review zero pairs. Remember that a zero pair is just the sum of a number and its opposite. So if we had this key right here, we see yellow represents positive one, red represents negative one. So if we had three positive ones, so we have positive three here, in order to eliminate that, we would need to add three negative ones because this makes a zero pair, which this statement becomes three plus negative three, which is just zero. This will be important when we're solving equations. So here we have our equation mat and we have a key over here that shows us that this represents negative X. The green represents positive X. The small red represents negative one and yellow represents positive one. Let's first start by drawing what we see here, nine constants in this mat. So we're gonna draw nine yellow tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next, we need to draw X minus four in this box. So I know my X is the green, so I'll put it in this box. And then minus four is the same thing as these four red tiles. And we said that in our last video because we know that the minus operator is going to go with the number that follows it. So let's go ahead and draw our four negatives. In order to solve this equation, we are going to get this green tile by itself. We need to isolate our variable. Well, right now the variable has four negatives with it. So if we added a positive to that negative, it would cancel out. So we just need to repeat that three more times and then all of my pairs would cross out. However, something very important for equations, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Because I added four positives to this side to create these zero pairs, I need to add four positives to this side. So one, two, three, four. My zero pairs, you can really pretend like are not there at all. And then we just read our mat to find our answer. So I have the nine I started with plus 10, 11, 12, 13. So my answer is 13 equals X. Let's try this again. I'm gonna use the same key and I'm going to draw my X and a positive one on this side. On this side, I'm gonna draw positive four. Now I need to isolate my variable by getting X alone. It's important to try to get the side that has the X by itself. We just want X to be by itself. It doesn't matter which side it starts on. We want X to be alone. So to get rid of a positive one, I'll add a negative one. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Now let's cross out our zero pairs. I have one here and I also have one over here. So now I can see that my answer is X equals, and I can pretend as though these are not here, and I have one, two, three. I can go ahead and put this answer back into my original statement, and three plus one is four, so I know I'm correct. On this example, I have positive three, one, two, three, plus X is equal to negative four. One, two, three, four. Remember, I want to get X by itself here, so I'm isolating my variable by getting rid of these three positives by adding three negatives. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other, and then I cross out my zero pairs. So on this problem, X equals one, two, three, four, five, six, negative seven. For our last example, on this side, we have negative two. So I'm gonna put two red tiles. On this side, I have negative five, so five red tiles and X. To isolate my variable, I wanna get rid of these five red tiles. So I'll add five yellow tiles. Whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other and then I cross out my zero pairs. So 
So my answer here is positive 3 equals x. Let's recap. Our steps for solving adding and subtracting problems with the algebra tile mats. Look at what is on the same side as the variable. You want to add zero pairs to isolate the variable. Do the exact same to the other side as you did to the side that had the variable. And finally, cross out any zero pairs. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click the subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!